When you take on a project or you begin writing or you start writing any story, one, at some point you fall in love with that story. And two, um, you develop magical thinking that this is the one. This is the one that's going to change the world and it's going to win awards and you're going to sign a $900 million deal for this one and, and everyone's going to love you and this is what you were born to write. And then, and, then, and then the industry can be very cold and unreceptive to that. It can, they, people go, eh, we just bought that, or we're not doing it, or whatever. So, so then how do you move on? How do you say, okay, now I have a new love. Now I, have a, a, now I've, I throw all my magical thinking into this new project and, and not feel like a crazy person. You know what I'm saying? So, so you go from... Um, self-delusion to self-delusion over and over to survive because you're a storyteller, you know? And so I think what I've done to, to so, so, so the way I, I deal with that, because that is a crisis and I have found that very challenging. And one of the things that I've come to is that you just let it go and you realize you are a storyteller. And so I kind of think of myself as a guy in a bar and, oh, you heard that one? I got another one for you. I told you that one already? Well, I'm going to tell it again, you know, or whatever. And, and I'm constantly t telling stories. Storytellers don't run out of stories. So, but, you, but the, the focus on a story when you're writing it feels like it's an end point or the beginning of a series or whatever, you, but you stop thinking about your other projects for the most part, you know, because you're putting, you're all in. So I just kind of am looser about it and, 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 and just let it go. And it's actually um, been very liberating to do that. One, your story matters and you deserve to write your story. When you ask people for advice, they don't know what they're talking about for the most part. Okay, they can just give you their experience, but they can't tell you what's gonna work, okay? So you have to realize that when you write, to do it correctly, you have to mine your inner emotional state and make yourself vulnerable. But then you put that out into an industry that had People are overly critical or it's not the marketplace or it's not the right time or whatever. And so there's a tremendous amount of rejection at a, tight, at a time when you're at a, a heightened state of vulnerability. Okay, it hurts. And when we're hurt, we recoil or we think I should have done something differently. It's not you. Okay, the fact that we have a strike proves <laughs> that they're, the system is tough, and every writer out there has the same story. You know, people are writing to get at a wound, and then there's another wound that happens when we're rejected, okay? Keep writing. The writing is the healing part of the process. You keep building up scar tissue, you get tougher, you get older, you get hopefully not more cynical, hopefully more wise and just let things go and looser and you realize that that, that that part of the business is out of your hands. So to boil it down, I would say that my advice to a new writer is it's all about you when you're writing and then after you've written, it's not about you at all. It's just the business. Don't take it personally. What really um, stands out to me when I read a good script is if it has a money scene for the lead character. Okay, so especially on TV, we watch the main character over and over. They're usually interesting or compelling in some way, and they're also their own worst enemy, and that conflict creates their own problem, and we wanna see them get out of it dig a bigger hole and do it again next week, right? That's basically TV. 
So I find a lot of people when they're starting out write scripts that are, you know, very plot driven. And they probably get notes from their reps and everything where they get a lot of, you know, oh, let's make sure this is clear. Let's make sure this understands. But then there's no fun. There's no, there's no like, there's no, you know, money scene that, that isn't really plot related. So, you know, imagine a scene, I'm just gonna make this up, you know, but imagine a scene in which like Larry David in Curb Your Enthusiasm has to go into a dry cleaner and they can't find his jacket and then the guy comes out wearing his jacket. And Larry says, that's my jacket. And the guy's like, no, it's my jacket. And he's like, that's my jacket. You know what I mean? And, and now that could go on. You could see that scene taking place, right? And, and it's just a fun scene in which Larry's getting to be Larry. And, and, and I don't see those scenes in script. So when I do see them, they really stand out. You know, it's not just about having your character move through a space to get to the next scene, but put your character on stage, you know, and just give them the stage and just put them in conflict or whatever. They want something and somebody's not giving it to them, go. And just give them two or three pages, you know, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, I mean, there's the famous scene in, it, where um, Jack Nicholson in five e e pieces, you know, uh, tries to order, a, he wants to order a, a chicken sandwich and in, in, in a diner, you know, and that kind of a scene. Or, or you know, I always talk about, you know, a scene um, in North by Northwest where, you know, Cary Grant is running from the plane, right? Okay, and the plane's shooting at him and stuff. and. And, and that's just a very heightened, cool sequence. You know, it really doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the plot. You already know people are chasing him and people are gonna to continue to chase him, but it's just a cool sequence. And it's, it's interesting to put the main character way in over his head. You don't read those kind of scenes in, in spec scripts, you know, you don't. And so I would ask writers to really think about you know, what is a scene in which I can just give my character the stage and just turn him or her loose so that the audience is surprised and wowed? That's, that's what I'm looking for, and, and, and that's what I think stands out.